true believers? Me again, Funky M, something close to something like a superhero, back with another one of these marvellous legends, as we call him. Well, that's what the producer man says. Anyway, you all saw Other Funk's Avengers review with all of his lovely friends. Well, the movie that we're talking about today spins off from that. It's Thor The Dark World. Let's get into it. Another 2013 released movie, Thor The Dark World kicks off Phase 2 proper, with another adventure across the Nine Realms under Asgard's watch. Jane Foster touches something she shouldn't, Dark Elves be plotting, and Loki... well, it's Loki. You know that he's up to something. Sounds like a damn fun romp. So how in the heck did this movie end up being the least best MCU movie until The Eternals? Well, let's find out, same way we always do. So here it is, the second marvellous legend, Thor, the Dark World. So, back in the time of King Bor, Odin's father. Yeah, the Allfather before the Allfather. <laughs> There's a doodle scratcher for you. Dark Elves fought a war to end light. Almost succeeded too. The Dark Elves had the Aether, a primal force of the universe. Not that it did them much good, but their weapon was too powerful just to get rid of, so they buried it. Snap back to the present, and Loki's sentenced for causing shenanigans in New York. Producer Man wanted me to remind you that this happens in the Avengers movie. Check it out at the link below. But just like always, Thor's having better luck. So why is he pining? Cause Jane Foster sure ain't. And here comes our girl Darcy with the plot. So every 5,000 years, the Nine Realms all line up perfect-like. And what with them being so close and all, physics can get weird in some spots. Which is what happens here. And just look at what Jane's found. <laughs> then Thor turns up, and it's back to Asgard for testing. And a lesson about what Jane found. Short version, Aether. Slightly longer, more involved universe version. The ether's an infinity stone, but not really a stone. It's more of a free-flowing liquid. But yeah, this is where the whole madness of infinity stones starts. But there's trouble in the dungeons, and I don't mean Loki. And the Dark Elves use this time to make their move. Malekith goes straight for the ether, but he forgot about Queen Frigga. And Frigga ain't no snitch, so she gets the shank. Asgard manages to drive off the Dark Elves, but the death of the Queen puts the crazy into Odin. And sure, Thor's sad about losing Mama to a dirty, pointy-eared light snuffer, but he knows what's up. Least ways enough to know that he's gonna have to make a deal with a devil. So it's time to cut a deal with Loki. So Jane is smuggled out of the palace, and off Asgard. Back on Earth, Darcy springs Selvig from the, uh, Palace of the Mind. Yeah, we kind of skipped this at the beginning, but Doc Selvig turned up at Stonehenge, full Starkers, trying to put up some kind of pole to counter the convergence. Will it work? Guess we'll find out together. Well, anyways, that's why they put him in secure holding. That and he's still suffering the after effects of the Scepter from New York. But our heroes are in the Elf Realm. And you never trust a rattlesnake. But get this, it's a triple cross. So Malekith goes off to do his ultimate evil, and the boys deal with the leftovers. And then Loki gets the shank. But never mind that, time for the big action climax. Here comes Malekith to put out everyone's lights. Thor fights bravely, while the others set up the perimeter. Selvig thought up poles to pass the energy of the Convergence through them and out the other side, to someplace else. Where? Not Earth's problem. But at the crucial moment, Thor's out of position. And with seconds to spare, Thor takes the last of the anomaly poles and gives that pointy-eared mother crusher what for. Serves the damn dirty light snuffer right. And don't try to wipe out no more universes, ya butt. Anyway, let's wrap it up. Jane and the gang go back to ordinary life on Earth, but Thor can't take over from Odin just yet, which is just as well, because that 
and Odin. <laughs> so Loki survived. Who knew? Any hoodles. That was Thor. The Dark World. And yeah, I don't see the hate from it. Gets a thumbs up from me. So let's get this out of the way. This is a dark movie, both in story and look, with the amount of death. But it's helped a load by watching it a second or third time even, and for the double act of Hemsworth and Hiddleston alone, it's absolutely worth watching more than once. All of the Asgardians are played entirely straight, with varying degrees of accent. Anthony Hopkins' Odin is still the powerful king of all realms, and Rene Russo's Frigga actually gets some screen time in this movie, of the Mortons. Portman's Jane Foster, Dennings' Darcy, Stellan Skarsgård's Eric Selvig, though perhaps not so much with Selvig, who's still feeling the after-effects of the Mind Stone. But apart from that, all decent and likeable as before. The flow, the story, the ultimate MacGuffin-centred idea could have been handled a lot worse. But they've kept the silliness to a minimum and really pushed the reality of the idea. But this ain't a perfect movie. Malekith turns up fully formed, with his motivation just being to return the universe to darkness because he wants to rule again. Now, I heard that a lot of this movie ended up on the cutting room floor, possibly for time, which is a dang shame, because giving Malekith more of a reason for his villainy would have fleshed him out a lot. I mean, there's barely anything to what we see on screen, just another identikit villain with a funny language and pointy ears. Apart from that though, and for what we get, this movie? Not terrible. Great? Good, I reckon. Good for spending 112 minutes, credits included. Good for seeing the first Infinity Stone on screen. And good for setting up a last minute reveal that the next Thor movie kinda squandered. But that ain't my business. My business is telling all of you true believers about the next marvellous legend. And that's Captain America the Winter Soldier. So, that's coming up next time. Till then, I've been Funky M, your host. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you around, humans. Hey all, me again. Just reminding you to do all the YouTube stuff. Blah blah crowdfunding. Oh, we have a Discord. You should totally check it out. I'll link it below. But, you know, it's cool if you don't feel like doing any of that stuff. See you around, humans!